What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the second episode of Scooby Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. I almost said Mystery Mayhem there for a second. Almost. Um, but it's not Mystery Mayhem. No. Anyway, I apologize. It's taken a month for the second episode. But I wanted to kind of get let my other Let's Plays um, get further on. Uh, maybe a little closer to finishing, which. Uh, some of them, most of them, haven't been viewed recently, and that's kind of sad. So, uh, before we start this episode, I would like to ask if you guys could go, you know, check them out. Maybe uh, leave a like, leave a comment on them too. I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, y you don't have to naturally, but eh, I again, I, I, w I would really very much appreciate it. Anyway, last episode we did the tutorial pretty much. Got our first um, invention, the springs, which lets us double jump. That's nice. And uh, this episode we are going to be. Nah, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Oh, yeah, we'll be going to Haunted Hedges. Haunted Hedge Maze. So if you guys are excited for this episode, I don't blame you. I love this game. Oh, On Edge and the Hedge. I love those titles. They are just hilarious to me. You know, <clears throat> you know just the... Just the vibing part just <laughs> makes me laugh. This gate appears to open from the other side. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you, Magnifying Glass. I appreciate it. So, yeah. This episode... Um, I, I can't remember what we're, we're doing, um, well, I mean, obviously we're trying to find the rest of Misty Incorporated. You'll need the helmet power to open this gate. Really? Hmm. I guess I, apparently I can't jump over it. That's sad. Oh. Oh. Can I... Oh, okay, if so I could jump over them. Or, well, like, knock their heads off or something. But apparently I can't do that. Apparently. Oh, I can go up here. Oh, there's a witch. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, we can dig, can't we? Yeah, we can. So we eat blueberry sandwiches. That's one thing that I gotta know. I, I mean, I know this is... Like the home of an eccentric inventor, but really, I mean, what what is the practicality of burying sandwiches? I mean, I mean, maybe maybe preparing for winter, maybe, but you know, I I don't know. But you know, that, that's something you gotta wonder. I I think we'll need the. Galoshes, boots. Oh, chicken. Lovely. You need to press a plunger invention to make it up a way out. Okay. I, I kind of thought that was the case. Um, thought we'd get, have to get boots, not uh, plungers. Anyway, so, yeah. I, I do remember some of this game. Um,. I remember this level, but most of the actual plot um, is kind of over my head, really. Because it's been years since I uh, played the game. Well, not counting when I start posting the episodes, but you know what I mean. Hello, Scooby. Here are your two professors invent. Oh, here are two professors inventions: the slippers and the lampshade. That was easy. You can use the slippers to sneak past. It monsters by pressing the Z button and R button at the same time. Which we'll see if that works because um yeah my right trigger is a little sticky so we'll see if it actually works. You can use a lampshade to hide from monsters by holding the Z and R button while standing still. Avoid the zombie. Okay. Let's see if it works. Okay, it works. 
Get to know. Dude. <laughs> I want to play like the Mission Impossible in Sanguine and I'm taking past something. But no, 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 no. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, ah. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just sorry. Am I, am I going the right way here? I think I am. I could be wrong. It wouldn't spot me if I was, but... Alright, let's see what's buried under here. More sandwiches, probably. Yep, alright. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Okay, this is the exit. We don't want to leave just yet. I mean, I'm not trying to 100% this game. I don't think I ever have. But, you know, we, we gotta explore. You know, we, we gotta do that. Mainly so, well, yeah. Just in case we missed anything, you're... Alright. Uh, oh, right. Okay. And we're gonna have to come back to this area later. Oops. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Again, my... Uh, my buttons look crazy. But, but apparently they work, so, you know, that's the, uh, the good thing. Alright, now let Oh. Oh, there was just a sandwich over here. Okay, so... So we can't... Uh, so, okay, so I didn't miss out on anything important over here. Right. Ah, dang. But, you know, now that I know that, we can just keep moving forward. Yeah, poison spewing plants. Um... I, I kind of expected that, to be absolutely honest. I mean, going to hedge maze, you know, I, I kind of expected there would at least be one poisonous plant. Alright, uh, can we jump up here? Okay, something tells me we're going to have to get, old, get those plungers to be able to get over there. Okay. Alright. So, let's move on. So again, I just hope you guys are excited about this episode because it's been uh, almost a month, and like I said, if, um, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something. It's like, yeah, mini plants shooting darts, elves. I don't know. The gate appears to open from the other side. Well, no duh. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on a second, you guys. Sorry about that, you guys. I was uh, trying to tell my nieces to be quiet so I can, you know, their voices didn't end up in this recording. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Anyway, so and so again, just I really hope you guys have been enjoying this episode. Oh, I, I can't even sneak past when I'm on car. Really? Really? Okay. Whatever. Yeah, funny thing is, my niece, um, I was asking her to be quiet a minute ago. She legitimately asked, Are you a YouTuber? Which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> but, yeah. So, eh, uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I definitely remember this part. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's talk to Shaggy. Hey Scoob, better hop on quick. This thing has a mind of its own. Alright. Yeah, I definitely remember this part being kind of fun. Well, the whole game is fun to me. Um, but, but this is... This part is gotta be, uh, the one I remember most. You know, just because of, uh, well... Yeah, I, I just love it. it. It's definitely one I remember the most. But, uh... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently I missed my jump on that one. Alrighty. Alrighty. So anyway, um, yeah, I just remember this part, um, for some reason. Yeah, I don't know, but some parts, I do remember parts of this game. Um, particularly some levels like this one. You know, for some reason, um, some levels always just stuck by me, um, e even, e even now, years later, I can just be, look, I can look back and be like, oh, I remember that. Which, uh, for a lot of people, is, uh, it's probably like, oh, oh, so you remember one, one level, it's like, oh, good for you. Right, but, and to me, it is kind of a huge deal. I mean, not, not a mega big deal, but for me it is that I have a tendency of forgetting a lot. I have a uh, short-term memory, kind of. Now, it's not a huge deal a lot of the time, but it, uh, uh, it's just a problem, especially when I'm trying to remember something. I'm just like, oh, wait, what? And I, and I know other people forget stuff too. I know. I know. But it's just... I don't know. I always seem to forget something. Unless I'm actively thinking about it. And even then, you know... Even then it's an issue for me. Alright. Uh-oh. You'll be back at the start. Oh, Shaggy. 150 snacks. We got plenty. We got plenty of screw snacks. Yeah, based on the amount we had, it's a mean greenhouse, Scooby-Doo. Alright, we got a save point. Perfect. Because now I have a memory card that I can save. So that's, that's a good thing. Because, uh, well. Alright, there's a giant urn. I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume there's a monster inside. Shaking boxes. I don't know what that is, and I'm gonna try and avoid it. Oh man. It's definitely nostalgic for me, um, especially fighting off against all these, well, not fighting off, it's more running like hell, but, uh, just facing off against these, uh, villains that I, I clearly remember from, uh, yeah, something tells me we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need the helmet for that. Yeah, we, uh, well, it's nostalgic for me facing off against these villains. Because, you know, whenever I see them, I'm just like, oh, I remember that one. Like, you know, it's, it's fun for me. It really is. Just because I, eh, I, I love Scooby-Doo. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of prefer the newer episodes um, compared to the older ones. Oh. Oh. Okay. Because the older ones, um, in a way, they kind of got a little, I, I don't want to say predictable, because they really weren't, um, they were just, 
Uh, I don't know how else to say it. I mean, they weren't bad per se, but... Uh... Huh. Okay. But, especially when they did the running around, uh, like running through a museum or something, they always pass by the same scenery in the background, which... I, I, I kind of get that. I mean, it was, the, they were made, like, years ago. Like, a couple of decades, I think. <laughs> Zombie fell off. That's hilarious. Um, so I can understand, especially if you get to the newer ones, but I don't know. You know, I mean, Scooby Doo is a, a great series in general. So, you know, I, I still enjoy the older ones, but the newer ones, I. I find it interesting. Well, more interesting than the older ones because the newer ones seem, uh, uh, fleshier, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I mean, there's a lot of, um, a lot that I just like about it because, you know, newer villains and all that. 175. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Chills and spills on the haunted hill. No, it's chills and spills on a haunted hill. Okay. Okay. So I don't know um how long this episode's gonna be. I'm aiming at least for a half hour. At least. But you know, we'll just um see how long it takes to record. And if, uh, you guys can kind of hear my nieces in the background, I'm sorry. It seems like I always gotta repeat everything twice. The soapbox will replenish your soap bubbles when you find that invention. Okay. The fact that we're getting that kind of thing here, that like kind of note here, <clears throat> here, kind of makes me think we're gonna find the soap bubble invention. Maybe? I, again, I, I don't really want to remember much about the game. Some levels, sure, but... Alright, I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go this way yet. I don't know. I, like, and I, I, that's gonna be a common thing for me. I don't remember a lot about the game, and I apologize. I apologize for that, you know, if you guys were expecting, like, a, a detailed playthrough where I just, you know, not a blind one, I'm sorry, but I can't do that, because, you know, it's been years since I played the game, and my knowledge is, eh, it's pretty much faded, you know? Okay, so we were supposed to go this way then. Alright. Now, I wanted to check the other way just in case there was, um, something up there. You know, something that we might have needed, or... You know. But, there wasn't, so... Well, there's that. Of course, you know, it, it, it didn't hurt to check, it never hurts to double check something, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I love, I love jumping on spiders, because I really don't like spiders. I don't, I'm not afraid of them by any means, but I will never love spiders. You know, I'm, I'm just throwing that out there right now, I won't. But... Maybe you guys can relate, you know, or maybe you can't, you know, maybe you're just like, dude, what's your problems? You know, spiders are awesome. Which, you know, if you guys love spiders, good for you. I'm happy for you. You know, you're entitled to your own opinion. I just don't. That's, that's my stance on that. 
you know? I mean, me personally, as someone says they love spiders, <clears throat> and honestly, I'm I'm just I'm me personally, I'm just gonna be like, how, you know, how can, how can you love spiders? <laughs> oh, let's see. Let me check something real quick, you guys. I'm gonna have my phone. Ah, twenty minutes. We we can record for a bit longer. Oh, cool. Um, I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Now, I was trying to sneak past a weird, but uh, the the zombie kind of scared me a little bit. I mean, not like like oh my, I was like oh my god, a zombie, you know, but. Uh oh, okay. Alright, so this, this is this part. Yeah, this part always kind of reminds me of <clears throat> Mario 64 for whatever reason. Um, I can't remember the name of the level, but it was like the one with the Bomb King. King Boomba, I think. I, I don't know. You need a helmet to bash this open. The tunnel will return you to the start of the hedge maze. Okay. I don't have the helmet. <clears throat> but apparently we will be getting that. I don't know. Probably at the top of this mountain. Probably. You know. I don't know. I really don't. And it's... Oh. Oh, we will. We will. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Football helmet. You can press B to dash ahead and bash off your some monsters. Okay. Alright, so we got a way to fight back now. And we get a bunch of scuba snaps. Hell yeah. Ah. Uh, Oh, okay, that was a little, yeah, the one problem I have with this one is, it's so hard to aim it, you know? Because, I don't know, when they're walking around, that's going to be harder, but I, I think if they stand still, I'd have a better shot, so we'll... We'll see how that works. Alright, and... Sweet! Alright! Alright, we're back at the Hedge and the Maid. Alright. Uh, on Edge and the Hedge. Yeah. I don't know what I was saying. And here's that exit. Oh, the one that... Oh, yeah. Now, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to remember... I I think there was an area up ahead that we needed to use a helmet for. I'm pretty sure it was in the hedge part. Oh, yep, alright, see, see, this is, this is it. And we got another monster token, sweet. Um, nice. Alright, so uh, we're doing pretty good now. We can fight back. We're not 100% helpless anymore. Well, yeah. So this is pretty pretty sweet. We made decent progress. I, I don't know what I just picked up. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Was it? Oh, maybe I didn't pick something up. Maybe it was just the witch evaporating, fading. I don't know what you call that. I don't want to say destroying because that <clears throat> seems a little bad. 
Oh, I destroyed a witch. Like, wait. Alright, uh... Actually, actually, don't we need to go down that one? Oh, like those. <clears throat> sorry, my voice is all near today. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, don't we need to go down? Did I kill you? Huh? Apparently, unless they, oh no, I was just saying, unless they gave us food, like they they won't stay promo dead. Which, apparently that was wrong. Apparently they, sh they, <clears throat> they don't stay dead. They revive as soon as I leave the area. Which, eh, I got no real problems with. That's fine with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's one thing that would confuse the you know, the F out of me, like, how does entering this main, you know, this head, like, go to the, this dead end, how does that somehow lead to the top of a beeping mountain? You know? I mean, it must be a considerable distance away, and I just died, technically. You know, it's gotta be a considerable distance away, so, what, you know? Like, how does that work? There we go. Hey, when they move around like that, it's much harder because when we dash with the helmet, it's so hard to control. I think. Oh boy. But, you know. It is what it is, so. Meh. That's literally all I have to say about that. Just me. Alright, let's take out a witch. Yeah. Did it. Yeah, I'm so happy. I guess I'm pretty sure this is where we have to go. Use the super smash to strip activate stone pillars. Uh, Super Smash, huh? Huh. I, I'm actually going to have to check that out real quick. Like, Super Smash. I mean, I mean that clearly that's a technique, but... I, I, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've actually played that. Use a Super Smash. Uh... Hold on, guys. I, I know. But I I, I gotta check it out check it out because I honestly I've never used it so do 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 So it's apparently what, like what I thought, just bump, bump, B.
Hmm. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. Let's see. I mean, I mean, I'm hitting it. I mean, I got the helmet. So why is it not working? Okay, clearly I'm missing something here. Clearly, because I thought it said, like, just jump and press B. Super Smash. Supposed to go that way yet? I don't know. Huh. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought you said I am. So what's going on? Oh jeez. Okay. So apparently I don't... I can't use the um... <clears throat> Super Smash. Which I don't get. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, so that's something I'm gonna have to figure out on my own. Which I'm sorry you guys ha kinda had to watch me fumble around for a little bit. I apologize for that. I, I am truly, truly sorry. But ag again, I I gotta point out, it's been a long time since I played this game. And, um,. Yeah, that's really that's pretty much all I gotta say. I am sorry it, I'm not better at this game. What does that sign say though? Oh, something about. Oh, it clears below. Yeah, something about cliffs. I, I don't know, I, I couldn't read that to be absolutely honest. Yeah, I don't, I really don't know, you guys. Cause I'm looking at the instruction manual, it says, you know, press B to do a super head smash when helmet's collected. We got the helmet. Huh. Well, I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna actually have to experiment with that. If you guys know how to do the... Super Head Smash... You know, let me know, because... Clearly I'm missing something here. Anyway, you guys, I think, uh, I got here, so I'm gonna move it off this episode. Uh, we'll go back to the mystery machine and save the game later.
which again, I'm, I'm kind of sorry, I'm fumbling around a bit, but again, long time, and well, I just hope you guys enjoyed this episode with Godless, so, how sad it kind of was. Anyway, like I said, let's hope you enjoyed it. I will, uh, figure out just how to do the head smash. The super head smash. Um, in between episodes. I, I will figure that out. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go. I, I'm fairly sure. Anyway, guys. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Answer the question of the day, if you wouldn't mind. Um, and just hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, and look forward to the next one, which again, I probably won't post for a while because I want my other list plays to catch up a bit. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind going and checking out Star Wars, the Old Republic list play I have on my channel, because it could use a lot of views. It could use any views. It's been a, a few weeks, actually. Anyway, once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, because um, I enjoyed playing it. I apologize if my niece's audio was a little distracted. I, I'm sorry about that. So I'll see you guys next time.